Here we are, farmhouse uh, full day number one. Sorting through the lyric sheets, getting ready to start up here. So, uh, so how you feeling um, about this whole thing? I'm good. Yeah. I'm a little sober, but I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> we should be able to fix that. After we work a little bit, we'll fix that. <laughs> Faux show. So this room in here is where we're doing the. Uh, this is the guitar tech room. Um, it's the official tech room on the laundry and dryer <laughs> and the sink. So we kind of live, um, we're living with it. And any good guitar tech room has got a good cup of coffee in there. Do you those players? As natural. Of course I do. One Brad, this is Brad. Hi, He's how the you doing? lead you're engineer of this whole production. I'm so glad you're videoing. I just, uh, <laughs> uh, There's a toolbox in there. It's got anything you want. It's real dirty though. Do you have another, um... The needle nose are rusty. Your, uh, your plug in your, uh, 7506 is never good. So there's, uh, Joseph. Hello. Joseph is, uh, A2 on this session. He's setting up, this is the first day of setup here, so... He's doing, I would guess, all the pre-production. And, uh, so this is, this is the farmhouse. This was the farmhouse. This is now a studio. So walking through the farmhouse... Into the, uh, this is the room between the control rooms and the studios, otherwise known as the kitchen. Like I said, we're just kind of living it. So, there's a good place to eat. Well, really, anywhere's a good place to eat. Now, as you walk up here, you just follow the cords. Follow the cords to see where they go. You go up here and you find that we've got more studio spaces. These will sound good up here. And all that wood. And then yet another booth in there. So pretty cool. It's a farmhouse. ISO booth, man. ISO booth. I mean, this is amazing. It, it is like a studio. It totally is. That is perfect for your drum, toy, everything that you want Definitely, to beat on. Because it's dead in there. And um, back of vocals. And then here, Becca gets everything, I mean, her whole space right here. And it's all treated beautifully. It is I pretty mean, nice. It's, man, that's, that's exciting. Where are we? We're in heaven or something. Okay, you guys, I'm not going to try to film while walking down the stairs because what I don't need on day one is a broken arm. So, uh, there's your safety message for the day. Day one in the farmhouse. I got to get back to stringing and we're just about to get started. We're getting near to the end of day one of recording. And, uh, there's no guitar on the tech bench tonight. That's mouthwash, I promise. Uh, and so we'll walk through here and we've got a lot of work done today. We've been going all day. Here comes somebody. There's oh, Brad. Hi. Brad's been driving us all day. That was funny because I was driving all day yesterday too. We'll go say hi to Brad. There's Brad. Hey, how you doing? Yes. Hey, there's Joseph back there. Oh yeah, he's got the picker shirt on. Yeah, yeah, this That's was a good a, shirt right there. This is good inspiration for Nice today. mic. There's Joseph over there oh. chomping. Hi, hey, Joseph. There. Joseph, Junior Mints, no way. Mm-hmm. I freaking love those. This might be going to the movie theater. <laughs> um, so there's some remnants of some meals around here. And uh, I guess it's about 11.30. Is that about right? Yeah, it's just yes. about right. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm here. We're still working it. <laughs> so you, you got to see this uh, contraption that Brad built in here. That I don't know if well, that the was... the idea was um, it was inspired after um, the Pharaohs and Cleopatra. <laughs> And how they had the entourages. Like a poster bed. Well, that's what you said. <laughs> <laughs> so this uh, this wood came from outside down the road a little bit, down the little caliche path to the shack. Well, well, wooden shed back there. And Brad and I were talking last night while I was fixing up some uh, earphones and kind of mentioned, oh, there's a bunch of wood down there. And I didn't think he'd do this, but he did this while I was making breakfast. Make sure you get the floor, too. So it's pretty awesome. I, I like the... Uh... <laughs> Cross beams on the bottom. Because, yeah. Um, put the dirt dauber there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The Keep dirt daubers. Now this dirt daubers nest. I won't tell you the thing that my dear sweet wife tells me what that looks like. Because <laughs> oh this is a family friendly movie. So there's one. A little dark. But there's one we worked over today. And we're still gonna do some more. Did you tell everybody you got two songs down? Two songs down, and when I mean down, I mean down. Now done. Complete I mean like we're not going back to those. Mixed. 
And uh, yeah. Oh, this thing. Oh. And this little buddy here. Little, thank you, Brad. Perfect. Little handkerchief edition there to fix it right up. Mm -hmm. Did you get the top yeah, one so they could read it? Right. right. That's the gremlin. Mm -hmm. There it is. Because I can never remember the name. Right. There's that deal. Um, so there's my view for the day. That's what I see all day. Um, and then if I get lucky, there's what I see all day. Joseph with Junior Mints. I mean, who doesn't like Joseph with Junior Mints? I think it's awesome. That's about all we got. Um, today, oh yeah, there's light. So there you go. Uh, that's day two at the farmhouse. Uh, day one of recording, we'll call it. <laughs> Brad, Joseph, and my dear sweet wife. Aww. So we're going to get back to work. We're going to do a little bit more. And, uh, and we'll call it a day here. Night, night. So day two of recording at the farmhouse. Brad's flying drones around here. <laughs> like he's spying on us. Like he is. So it's about 9.30, 9.45 or so. We're just kind of waking up, and getting into our thing here, watching Brad fly drones around. Got a little tunes playing out the window. Drinking coffee. Trying to make it start. What we have here, we're at the farmhouse, day two of recording. What we have here is a group effort to attempt to get that leaf into that hole. These ants are working almost as hard as we are. I feel like an ant this week. <laughs> In a lot of ways. Is Brad our queen? Brad's our queen. He's down in that hole. And that leaf is the song, and we're trying to bring it to him. <laughs> and see, that's me back there, pushing incessantly on one side of it. There's Hannah up there, the top part. She's assessing the right, the smartest way to do it and yelling at me because all I'm doing is just pushing it around in circles. <laughs> That, that, oh, there, there it goes. That was the wind. So this is, uh, amusing ourselves. <laughs> Day two of recording in the farmhouse. We are going to walk upstairs to check out the percussion rig. We just got done uh, finishing the seventh song. There's Joseph in there. Hey, my friend, how you doing? Hey, Becca back there. There she is. So we just got done uh, doing a, a song with percussion and all kinds of stuff. So we'll walk up here and uh, check out some of what we did tonight. So it's more blankets and handkerchiefs than anything else, it seems. So we do, uh, in here we did some uh, kick drum, some washboard work, of course. Brad and Joseph are doing a outstanding job. This is where I threw a fit earlier. It's okay, though. It was a fun fit. I kicked that chair a lot. In fun. I didn't, you'll see that I did not do that. That just fell. Nobody will believe me, though. So, uh, on down we go. I'm not worried about breaking my arm anymore. That was two days ago. Nothing matters anymore. We've gone to delirium mode. It is, okay. We're gonna wander back and see what's going on back here. Through the kitchen. Food supplies are hanging in there. We're doing pretty good. Walking back there. A lot of engineer talk going on. So, uh, so here's the control room. All mics. These uh, these microphones did not come with the farmhouse. Brad brought those, as well as all this stuff. Signing off for now, friends. We've been working all day, and I got a beer on the table that's calling my name. There it is. So I'm gonna go answer the call. Night, night. Day three of recording at the farmhouse. Becca's in there doing uh, backup vocals. I'm outside taking some air. We're just starting to finish up on our best days. It's a tough song. So she's in there 
doing some singing. And I'm just hanging out outside the farmhouse. Those of us who aren't recording will run around outside the farmhouse and scare off birds because there's a ton of birds around this place and they're squeaking and chirping and beeping and burping loud enough that you can hear them on the mics. Well, they're pretty and everything, but and a little bit's okay. Sometimes it kind of sounds like we got, you know, we're doing this and thing, this recording inside one of them. What do you call those? Ornithologies? Hornithologies? One of them zoo places with all the birds. So we've got uh, eight or nine songs done um, here in the course of uh, two and a half days, and we've got, I think, six to go. Something like that. Day four. End of day four. Just finished up in here. Rebecca's upstairs recording. Boom. There you go, that's 15 songs. Day four of recording, and uh, we've done okay. Now, uh, over here in this corner, uh, coming in um, at 110 pounds, is Joseph at his fighting weight. Uh, Joseph, how do you feel after this week? I feel uh, reasonable. That's good, that's good. That is the best we can expect. Um, over here in this corner is the superstar. Mr. Ooh. Superstar, Brad, how do you feel after this week? Fantastic. That lighting is very spooky on you. I like it. I like it. I feel fantastic. Mr. Brad has taken us... I got to, to yell at you for four days. I mean, it's been great. <laughs> it Brad has taken us to places we've never gone before. Songs have never sounded so good. Um, by the time anybody sees this video, you'll be hearing the songs, and so you're going to know what I'm talking about. Now, here is my dear sweet wife. She Aww. met me at the door with a carving knife. I didn't. How are you doing? I'm fine. I'm... I feel great. Yeah? I feel great, and I never say that, and I feel great. Yeah. I really do. Good. I do, too. What I about, really do, too. What about this guy right here? Oh. Yeah, you're part of the band, aren't you? Hi, Brad. What do you, are, do you, guys, do you bring in the gear? Is that what you do? Or I what just do you... haul stuff. Yeah. I don't do any real work. Yeah? I just haul stuff. Right. And sit around. And then uh, every once in a while, I pretend to play an instrument. Mm-hmm. That's all I do. Yeah, just pretend. Yeah. Right? And I hang it's... out with my buddy, Joseph. He's over there. Yeah, he... This is Joseph. <laughs> Joseph is cranked up about life. He's like, I love recording! <laughs> That's All Joseph. Right, let's get the two of you. Where are you at? Hey, your, your wife's lonely. You're over there. <laughs> You're a hug, celebrate. Oh. There you go. Oh. What just happened? Oh my oh, god. Yeah. There we go. There you go. Whiskey. Whiskey is good. Whiskey time is now. <laughs> Last day, last night, we're taken down in here. What's up, buddy? Kind of weird to see it come down, man. It's been up for... Oh, my God. It's, it's been, like, whole. It's been months, I'm sure. I mean, as soon as we got here, we set it up, so we don't know anything else. Yeah. I mean, it's been... I don't know. My sense of time is really warped. Let's check it out in here. You get me doing dishes. Here we go. <laughs> all the things I've done this week, and you get me We have all shared the duty of dishes this week. It's been a beautiful thing. This is my dear sweet wife. Good job, honey. Thank you. I'm really good at dishes. <laughs> I wasn't talking about that. <laughs> That'll be dinner later. So here's a little inside look at the the way we lived the last week. So this house uh, is looking more like normal now. Um, we have moved from the farmhouse to the outhouse and uh, so there's the outhouse out there well we're at home for this part of the session this is the uh, probably the last recording session where we will record stuff from us before we do cello and fiddle 
So there's the outhouse where we're going to set up mics and instruments and amps and whatnot. <laughs> Cords come sneaking in here. It's a very high-tech system. All the way into here, and as, as we did at the farmhouse, you just follow the cords. And at the end of the cord, you find a studio. This one just happens to be in the living room. And if you follow the cord to the very end, you find Brad and Joseph jump cording. <laughs> jump cording, there you go. So they're setting up the studio here Sorry. in the house. Joseph just got hit in the mouth. Oh, there's the best. The best part of the whole day right here. How are you? I'm good. Yeah? I'm great. Yeah. <laughs> We spent the morning at the county clerk, and uh, the rest of the day we're gonna spend out here. Let's go check out, see what we got going on. So we got the dog, which is good. She's all worked up about something. So Brad's setting up, Brad and Joseph, they're setting up the studio in the house, so that out here, we're turning this whole thing into an ISO booth, essentially. This is the outhouse. This is where we recorded uh, the second album, Now and Then and the third album, our EP, Trainwreck Junkyard. Welcome, one and all. Today we're going to be recording some electric. This amp here on the left is one that I built. This amp here on the right is a practice amp that our good buddy Crystal turned us on to that I just freaking love the tone of. So we're going to, you're going to hear that one all over the record. So that's about the size of it. This is a I guess this would be day five of recording mm -hmm. in the outhouse, day one in the outhouse, day five total. From the farmhouse to the outhouse, to you we say adieu. Thanks for watching. Well, I always did my damnedest lord of earn an honest way. The company handed me a line to tow. Six a.m. came early, now for near on fifteen years. Did they told me I could pack my things and go? Well, the rules are stacked against you, Lord. No matter how you try, you can use your days of dying for the dream. But I'd rather sell my soul to the devil for a dime than give one minute more to that machine.